All right, so we got this problem. What is the image of seven three? So we got a point at seven to the right, three up. There's our coordinate on the Cartesian plane. What is the image of seven three after a reflection over the line y equals x? We're gonna reflect over this line y equals x. Now y equals x can also be written out as y equals one x. Now, if I had a y-intercept, that y-intercept is not visible, it's a zero. So what we're actually looking at here is a parent function of linear equations. y equals one x plus zero, meaning we're starting at zero, and this is the most basic of lines we could possibly create. Our slope is the value attached to the x, so we've got y equals x is just up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. And there's that line. Now what we gotta do is plot seven, three. So we're gonna go seven over, three up. That dot's gonna land right about there. Now we're at seven, three for this singular point. And they're asking us to reflect it over y equals x, which is now drawn right here. That's the line starting at zero, going up one over one, up one over one, et cetera, et cetera. Now how do we reflect over lines? It's quite simple. You're just gonna draw to that line. Do, 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 and then you continue the same distance away from it. Now, when you are dealing with a slanted line like this, drawing your distances because we don't have lines to count kind of causes an issue. So we wanna have a rule. X, Y is going to convert to what when you reflect over Y equals X. Okay, so that rule is as simple as taking x, y, and flipping them, y, x. So if your dot was originally at 7, 3, and then you reflect it over the line y equals x, all that happens is the 7 and the 3 are going to flip. So now our new point is going to be at 3 over and 7 up, just like the soda. 3 over, 7 up. Our new point is 3, 7. How do we get there? We reflected over y equals x, which is different than reflecting over an x-axis or a y-axis. Here are our axes. Reflecting over those would just change one of the values, while reflecting over the y equals x line is going to flip the values. Hopefully this makes sense. Study hard, and good luck on your upcoming test.